This video is going to tell you a little bit about Google Scholar. That's scholar.google.com. Google Scholar is a little bit different from Google because what it does is it refines its resources so that it'll only look at articles, theses, books, abstracts, court opinions, um, academic publishers, some professional societies, university websites, basically scholarly resources is what it searches. When you first log into it, or when you first pull it up, you see at the top of the screen, it'll say My Citations. My Citations, or if you're an author, you can put some personal information in there and it can track people who are citing your work. Metrics, if you're a website designer, that might be useful. Alerts, so if you have your Google account, you log in with alerts, what it can do is it can alert you when articles or something matches your query pops up that's recent. So it'll give you email alerts. And the settings. I'm going to click on the settings and show you something about the settings. So in the settings themselves, I can go down with a couple of different things that I can actually adjust on the front front screen. There's a little bibliography organizer down here, which for uh, high school isn't something you want to get into. But if you buy languages, that's kind of nice because then I can adjust whatever kind of language I want to search or the results as well. So I'm going to go back to the main screen. On the main screen, I can choose articles. It can include patents and legal documents. And within legal documents, I'll click it. And I can see federal courts, Virginia courts, or I can select other courts like other states. I'm going to go ahead and click on articles for what I'm going to do. I'll include patents. And I'm going to look up information about Thomas Jefferson. Now I can use all the search skills that I normally do on Google. I can also use them here as well. It's got a nice little drop down to make things easier. It's this little triangle piece right here on the side. And that's kind of a built in advanced search. So in the advanced search, I can go over here and I can refine my search a little bit more with dates, publishers authored, who is authored by. So I can do a lot more work with it. Click on the search button. And here are my results. And I can see that I have a book right here. And this book happens to have some kind of notation online, either in part or in whole. So I can click on that to see the actual reference, which is convenient. And I can also go in here and look at the citation for it as well.